Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Akusia Behini. If you're new, I'm Akusia Behini. If you're a returning subscriber, hey boo. What it do? Um, so in today's video, as per the title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few lessons that I've learned over my 26 years of life, okay? So I turned 26 this year, and this video, I actually had to film it around my birthday which was around june i've actually been putting down like a lot of pointers like a lot of lessons just because i wanted to share them with you guys so in this video i'm going to be sharing all of the lessons that i've learned or at least all of the lessons that i think that i've learned by my 26 years of life okay so if you're interested please keep on watching and without further ado my loves <music> I have the pointers on my phone, so I'll be looking on my phone if um, you care to know. The very first point that I have is you can never have it all figured out. I think this is something that I say a lot. You can never really have it all figured out. It's one thing that I've had to learn the hard way. I used to be that kind of person that, you know, I want to figure everything out. I want, I'm a perfectionist. If you're like me, <laughs> okay. I'm a perfectionist um, when it comes to everything like food, makeup, my lifestyle, you know, just basically everything. I feel like I can be able to figure everything out. And also it's okay to think that you can be able to figure everything out because it gives you so much power to, you know, do more. But really you cannot figure everything out, okay? <laughs> this world is not all unicorns and rainbows. The world is not like all magic. Some things will not go your way. You won't figure out some things. You won't be a master at some things. And that is totally okay. You don't have to beat yourself up for not being able to figure out every single thing that happens in life. You don't have to be able to figure it out. You need to take your time and go through things. So when you can't figure things out, it's okay. Just know that this is not my strong suit, okay? I'm going to give it to somebody who can figure it out, okay? Like when it comes to me doing like all these makeup and videography and whatnot, it will get to a point where I will delegate my photography and everything to other people because they do it better than I will. They studied to do all of that and I didn't, okay? This is just me doing like my creative skills and whatnot, but they have like a professional study in that area. You know what I mean? So in life, you really don't need to have everything figured out. It's okay if you don't have it all figured out and just know that you cannot have it all figured out, okay? So um, in really no particular order, I'm just going to be talking through all the pointers that I have on my phone, okay? They're not going to like be in a particular order or whatever. The second point that I have written down is life changes as you go. Some of these points, I haven't even read them in a while, so I don't even remember that I wrote something like this, okay? Sometimes I write it down immediately when it happens to me or immediately when it hits me. So when I, whenever like I go through a lesson or whenever a lesson hits me, I immediately write it down. So that's what happened with all these lessons that I'm sharing with you guys. They're just like very practical if i'd say that things that actually happened to me or things that i you know like a light bulb went off and then i thought i thought of this lesson or i did something in my life and i had to do this and then i learned this lesson from it so all of the lessons that i'm sharing with you are actually very practical to my life okay so the second point like i said life changes as you grow and that is so true it is so, so true. The more you go, one thing that I was saying is, I think the more you go, the more life becomes like fun, okay? The more you go, the more a lot of things are much easier. Um, generally, adulting is not easy, but the more you go, the, the more life grows. The more you go, the more life gets fun. The more you go, the more your choices grow, you know? The more your mind grows, the more maturity, you, you know? You know, it's basically the more you're growing, the more life itself is growing. So it's, it's just fun as you grow. I guess that's the point that I was trying to make with that one. It's just more fun as you grow. The more you grow, obviously, aside adulting bills and whatnot <laughs> but it's really fun when you grow you get to make your own choices you know you get to protect yourself protect other people it's just life is fun when you go it's more fun when you go it's more relaxed when you go point number three that i have here is appreciate yourself it's very easy to appreciate everyone's efforts but yours 
um, and it's so true it's very easy for you to say oh you've done so well oh you look so pretty oh that looks so good on you but it's so easy for you to beat yourself down it's so easy for for you to like look at yourself and say oh this doesn't look good on you oh, what makes you think you can even do that you know it's so easy for us to do that to ourselves but we're always there for people we're always there for other people we're always like the best cheerleader for other people be the best cheerleader for yourself appreciate yourself appreciate your efforts the little things that you do just know that wow i did that like you know like just telling yourself stuff like that you did that like i tell myself things like that every time like my daughter is 10 and 6 months tomorrow literally tomorrow and i always tell myself I did that like I literally took care of a baby from one month to six months I'm so proud of myself it might not be like the biggest thing in the world you know but you did that and that is that's what matters it, it, what matters is that you did that you did that is what it, that's all that matters like you did that so appreciate yourself um, appreciate your your yourself appreciate your abilities appreciate the things that you can do you know just generally appreciate yourself because really it's so easy to appreciate every other person but yourself that's what i realized it's so easy to see other people's achievements it's so easy to see um how good things are going on in other people's life it's so easy for you to see um how like what power other people possess but it's very difficult for us to see sometimes the power that we possess as a person or as people you know so appreciate yourself appreciate your gifts everything that you have just appreciate it and trust me it's gonna really help you okay point number four that i have here is don't forget to take time out to rest treat yourself okay always treat yourself and like it helps you to stay grounded that's one thing that i've realized it's so easy for us to like go 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 you know like keep working keep working you come back home you know you take a shower and then you're done you know do practices or set up daily routines that will help you stay grounded as a person one for me will be just standing outside and looking at nature breathing in fresh air okay i'm using that as an example because sometimes when you live in like places like this and it's so cold and i work from home i don't have to actually like go out go out except i'm going to do grocery so sometimes during the whole week i don't actually go out which is bad so ways that I find myself, like ways that I find that um, helps me to stay grounded is like going outside, breathing fresh air, meditation, reading some books, you know, listening to a podcast, love, love, love listening to podcasts, just basic things that help you stay grounded, skincare, self-care, you know, a nice self-care routine that will make you feel like, okay, I needed that. You need to take time out to take care of yourself, take time out to rest. Don't ignore your emotions. Don't ignore like your body signs. If the body's tired, let the body rest, okay? So um, it's just generally taking time out to take care of yourself and like acknowledging the fact that, acknowledge like the cues that you get from yourself, you know? When things are like all over the place, you really do need to do something to get you grounded, okay? Like sometimes just breathing in, breathing out for a few minutes help you to get grounded. Just whatever you do to make you feel like you're taking care of, whatever you do to make you feel like um, you're grounded, you feel well rested, you feel okay, just do that. Um, it's something that you should add into like your lifestyle. It's not something that you should, you should just do when you feel like you deserve it. No, do it as a part of the routine, okay? My next point is actually one of my favorite points. It says here, there's no harm in trying the worst you can get is a no and this is so true like i said i've written some of these points down a long time ago sometimes it will be like as it's happening to me and then i write it down and it's so true there's literally no harm in trying anything in this world i always say this as long as it's not hurting or killing anyone um there's really no harm in trying if you want to start a youtube channel start don't care about how far it's gonna go I listened to this quote from one person I think one youtuber on here that said that um, start a routine and don't think about perfection when you are starting just that just keep going just keep doing it and build perfection as you go and that is so true that's even like a little away from what I'm saying but really there's no harm in trying anything like a job interview okay 
like looking for a job looking for a job position in some firm that you think that this is a little too much for me or e, this place is like too big for me or maybe a typical example for me will be working for a brand that i feel like oh this brand only works with like really big influencers so i don't qualify to work with a brand like that the worst that brand can say to you is no no doesn't kill me it doesn't kill the world it doesn't cause volcano <laughs> like no didn't like take money out of my pocket no doesn't do anything doesn't it, it doesn't reduce the number of subscribers that i have the number of followers that i have literally no does nothing to me okay it does nothing to me obviously yes it's gonna mess with your emotions and whatnot but that's the that's the worst <laughs> You know, that's the farthest. That's the farthest. You can get over your emotions. You can drink a glass of wine, you know, meditate, do whatever you do to get over your emotions. But no is the worst that you can get. No is the worst you can get from anything and anybody until you try, until you try to do something, until you give something a try, until, um, until you put your energy to a test. You can never really see the outcome till you try so the worst that you can always get from anything is that it might not work okay maybe it's not working because it's not for you maybe it's not working because it's not the right time for you to do that thing okay so sometimes it might not work for you but that's really the worst that you can get that's really really the worst that you can get no from a boss no from a superior person you know no from a friend like that is really the worst you can get it cannot get any worse than that. So just try everything that you want to do. Try, do it, go for it, okay? And my next point here also sort of goes back to life changes as you grow. It says here, life is nicer as you grow because with growth comes experience. It's not actually a point. I just wanted to say that because it just reiterates the fact that the more you grow, the more everything is fun because you are experienced, you know, because you might have been through it a couple of times. So now you know exactly what to look out for. You know exactly what kind of, what, what kind of energy to put in um, that experience. You know what I mean? So with growth comes experience. So the more you grow, the more things are fun because the more it's easy for you to figure things out. Okay. And then my next point here says life's problems never go away. The moment you think you're done with one problem, another one comes through the door like that is so true like i literally just wrote that i'm pretty sure something happened and i wrote that but that is also so true life's problems really never go away it doesn't mean that say um one problem will stay as like one problem for the rest of your life you finish dealing with this thing and then next week something else comes by it's just like basic you know bills every month you have to pay bills you pay this month's bills and then i always say bills because bills is the one thing that i'm having to adjust in this country adjust to in this country it's the worst okay <laughs> and my next point is no relationship is perfect which is so true no relationship is perfect growing up for some reason every time i looked on social media looked like oh these people want such a cute relationship that might be a perfect relationship that is what i aspire for you know like when you're growing up there's just so many things that you think about there's so many things that you think is real but no relationship is perfect no not even the one that you have with your parents you know not even the one that you have with your friends you know so generally not even the one that you have with your kids like we are all constantly trying to have a healthy relationship as we go uh, along our life journey so really no relationship is perfect don't sit down and look at somebody somebody's relationship and think they have it all figured out because they really don't okay um, it's not perfect they do the best that they can um, to make it work every relationship is about both parties that's one thing that I've come to learn so if one person is um, like not putting in the effort and the other person is putting in the effort obviously it's going to be like one-sided so no relationship is perfect every relationship that you see out there that looks so beautiful is two parties putting in the job both parties are putting in the job both parties are putting in the work the communication you know and also same applies to friendships okay people talk things through people communicate that's how friendships will last or that's how like a friendship will last or whatever so really no relationship is perfect people are always just like trying to sort things out and what we see on social media is not always what it is okay i've come to learn that the hard way social media will only show you what the person wants you to see 
for example, me, when I vlog or like when I do my videos or whatnot, I show you guys exactly what I want you to see. I say what I think I want you to hear or what I think you guys would want to hear, you know? So um, that's just what it is. No relationship is perfect. If you have a relationship and you feel like, oh, every time I go through, that was, that was one thing that I was thinking about. I was thinking of the fact that uh, every time I've like every time I'm struggling with my relationship I used to battle with my relationships a lot before I got married like settled down with my husband um, I was always thinking to myself. Why am I always in like messy relationships? Or why are my relationships always like Like heebie jabby, you know, like all over the place, you know, but I realized that it's not It's n no relationship is perfect. Like we are both two different people from two different families two different worlds basically coming together to put your life together, put your understanding together, put your communication together. So it's so many things um, that comes together to form like a strong relationship. So no relationship is really perfect, okay? No relationship is really perfect. Every perfect relationship that you see out there has like work has been put in it. Both parties are doing what they can with the knowledge and understanding that is available to them, okay? And then my next point is gratitude be grateful i'm literally reading as like i've written it down because i want it to be just as i wrote it down because that's the only way i'm going to like remember exactly <laughs> you know that's the only way i'm going to properly relate to it okay so um the next point is gratitude be grateful someone wish they were you and that thing that we say is so true like in tree they say it is so true there's someone in like a corner or like a part of this world that wish that they were you that not even wish that they were you but that wish that they had half the things that you have no matter what you have no matter what you think you don't have there's someone in the world that wish or pray that they were in the position that you are right now so one thing that I've also had to learn growing up is always be grateful okay no matter what is going on in your life no matter how shaky your life is looking no matter how shaky your career is looking no matter how shaky your relationship is looking no matter how much you think you cannot figure things out just be grateful just be grateful is one thing that has like helped me so much it's one thing that i love to do so much just it's not even like loving to do it it's not and it's not even like doing it i've done it so much that it's a lifestyle I wake up every morning and I'm grateful regardless of what is going on in my life. I'm not even going to lie. And yes, obviously some days you have like your off days, like when you wake up in the morning, you feel meh and you know, you don't, but I have done it so much that every time that I wake up, I don't care what is going on. I don't care what kind of bad news will come my way. I am grateful. I'm grateful for being here. I'm grateful for being me, grateful to live the life that I get to live. I'm always saying this. I'm grateful to live the life that I get to live because no matter what my life looks like, somebody wished that they were me. And same applies to you. No matter what your life looks like, somebody wished that they were you. One thing that my mom always used to say is, may her soul rest in peace. I love her so much. But one thing that my mom always used to say, like I remember when we were going to church, like when I was young and then we'll go to church and I'll be looking for something to wear on a Sunday. And I'll be so mad because I have so many things that I don't know what to wear. And my mom comes and then she just looks at me and then she's like, you don't have a problem. You are mad because you have more than enough to wear. Someone doesn't even have one to wear. <laughs> okay, so that is just to explain what I'm trying to say. There's someone in this part of the world that, they, that wish that they were you, that wish that they had the life that you had not in a way that it's like bad or like jealousy or whatever no just in a way that be grateful for what you have be grateful for what you've achieved be grateful for like the people you have around you the people you have in your circle okay it's not easy to have people who always have your back it's not easy to have people who always like love you be there for you you know so be grateful like i i'm just overly grateful every time every single day i'm just so grateful for my life for everything in my life you know for sometimes i'm all even grateful for like <laughs> it's crazy sometimes i sneeze and i'm grateful and sneezing is even a bad example but sometimes i you know like sometimes i do something like i create a video and 
I edit and then I put it together and then I sit down and I look at myself and so I'm grateful for this creativity that I have in my mind. I'm grateful for this mind of my Lord, this brain of mine that is able to put a whole body of work together. I'm so grateful that I'm able to even think that way, you know? So gratitude cuts across, you know, it cuts across so many things. You don't only have to be grateful when you get good things in your life. Be grateful for even the littlest thing, if there's a word like that. Be grateful for even the smallest thing possible. Just be grateful for everything that you have in your life. It's just, it's just another way of making God or the universe know that you love and you're grateful for how far you've come. And that's, the, that, that's just the only way there's going to be more blessings coming in your way because you're telling them that you're grateful for even the smallest that you have. So what if you have big stuff, you know? You'll be even more grateful. So being grateful and just generally gratitude is a whole thing that if you leave me, I'm going to talk about it so many times because I love, um, I have come to understand and come to like, you know, love, not even love, but I've just generally come to understand what gratitude can do for your life and what gra how far gratitude can take you on your spirituality journey. So that's a whole different conversation, spirituality and whatnot, but just be grateful. It's something that I've had to learn the hard way. So be grateful every time. Be grateful no matter what, be grateful. So um, my next point here is don't compare or compete, okay? Don't compare or compete. It's so easy when now that social media is like on such a rise, it's so easy for us to compare ourselves to other people that we see on the internet. I do it a lot and I'm not perfect. I'm sure you do it too. If we're going to be honest, it's something that we do a lot. A typical example is if you look at yourself, like my age, I look at my age, um, 25. Sometimes I feel like my age is, I'm not even 25, like I'm 26. Sometimes I refuse to say that I'm 26 because I just don't want to come to terms with the fact that I'm 26, but I'm really 26. Stick it into the brain. <laughs> so... A typical example is 26. Sometimes you compare yourself to other 26-year-olds on the internet and the things that they're doing and how far they've come in their life. And then you look at them and then you're like, how are you not there? You know, like we're the same age. How are you there? How am I not there? You know, it's a typical thing that we all do if we're all going to be honest. If I am being honest, I do it. So I hope that you be honest to yourself too, at least if not to me, to yourself. Be honest to yourself. <laughs> And it's very easy for like you to fall into you know the pattern of like comparing yourself or trying to be better than someone in one way or like one shape or form. But it's not a good thing to do. That's what I've realized. It's really not a good thing to do. A, a typical example was with my weight loss journey, my very first weight loss journey. I just kept comparing myself, and I just kept thinking to myself, why haven't I lost weight? in such a long time after having a baby but there are so many people on the internet that have, have lost all the weight and why am i different i'm doing the same workout you know i'm taking care of myself i'm doing yada yada and i wasn't losing the weight so comparing yourself is really and then it put me in a very bad place where i was in a very bad relationship with my body i just didn't like love my body that much because i felt like my body had given up on me just when i needed it to pick itself back up you know there's just so many things that goes into that um, but it's just to say that don't compare on c or compete because just when I made up my mind, just when I fell in love with my body again, just when I decided that I was going to take matters into my own hands and not look at people's timing, not like compare my timing with people's timing and whatnot, I actually did lose the weight, you know? So I, f I realized that competing or just generally comparing yourself is not a good thing. So don't compare or compete. And another thing is that when you're growing up in like your early 20s, 20, 21, 22 ish, it's very easy for you to fall into like that behavior of, you know, comparing yourself to your friends or your classmates and whatnot. But don't do it. It's really not a good thing. You realize when you grow a little older that it's really not a healthy thing to do to yourself. Mentally, it's not a good place to put yourself, okay? This is the worst thing that you can do to yourself. It's a lesson that I've had to learn the hard way. Right now, I'm at a place where I'm just comfortable with myself. Before, I couldn't come on here like with my hair because I always felt like my hairline was so bad. And this is just me really opening up to you guys, you know? 
before I felt like my hairline was a problem and like I didn't have any hair in that area and I always felt like people were going to look at me different but now I don't care <laughs> now I really do not care this is my hair this is my hair this is me you're gonna come on this channel and you're gonna get this if you don't want this that's okay go somewhere else and get what you want to get but if you come here you're gonna get this and I had to tell myself that I had to tell myself that people are gonna come to my page for me people are gonna come to my page for my energy so if you don't want me if you don't want like my energy if you don't want anything to do with like my if you don't want to see this hairline stay in your house don't come and click on my video and then come and leave a negative comment if you leave a negative I'll block you like I don't care <laughs> okay and I think it's also another thing with like growing up I think the more you grow up the more you become nonchalant about some things okay the more like I've always been I don't care about so many things but I've also really been self-conscious about certain things especially when it comes to like my body image uh, but right now I'm at a stage where I'm just like living my free life I'm gonna give you what I can give you you're gonna get what you get okay um, I don't care if you don't like me because of my hairline and because of that you're not gonna come and watch a video you know what I mean so comparing yourself really is unhealthy that's all I'll say I've given too many examples about that but you just you get what I mean it's just not a healthy place to be in okay so my next point here is don't rush things okay I used to be that kind of person very impatient has literally no patience for nothing <laughs> and I think I'm partially I'm still kind of like that um, but sometimes it's good with certain things and then it's bad with certain things you know what I mean you know sometimes it's good with certain things and it's not good with certain things okay you can rush there are certain things that you can rush and there are certain things that you cannot rush so the things that you cannot rush don't rush anything just trust the timing trust the process as we always say when we're doing our makeup <laughs> trust the process it is so true if you um if you've had to like achieve something that took a particular time or like took some process and then you finally achieve it that feeling alone you know that dopamine that you get at the end <laughs> is so good so um, sometimes the process might always be like boring or like annoying or like it's so hard to wait this is literally me talking to myself but trust the timing don't rush things my next point is friendships end and that's okay not everything or every friendship is meant to last forever not even the ones that you've had for a long time period okay <laughs> friendships and then that's okay sometimes you just learn and then you move on um, I'm saying this I think I wrote this as a result of a friendship heartbreak that I went through earlier this year um, and I had to learn it the hard way I had to learn it the hard way that friendships will end all kinds of friendships can end whatever whoever you are it can end okay no matter what kind of relationship you guys have it can end anything can happen any and everything can happen in this life okay and that's okay don't beat yourself up okay don't beat yourself up and like don't dwell on it too much i would say it's okay no matter how long you guys have even been friends you know i think that's something that we also say a lot sometimes we're all we're always thinking about the fact that I've been with this friend of mine for 15 years 20 years and we can never fall out or like we, we're not supposed to have a falling out we're supposed to understand ourselves no you grow your friend is growing as you grow your life is getting different as your friend is growing her life is getting different or his life is getting different and you guys are gonna fall on different parts which might not need both of you to be in each other's lives again sometimes it just happens okay sometimes it really just happens and it's just a life sometimes it's just life you have to go with the flow um, the fact that you had the friend for long mean doesn't mean that um, you can't like you both can't fall apart or it doesn't mean that you both cannot grow apart you can definitely grow apart your life's parts can change so I'd say that friendships end and that's okay no matter how long you guys have been together no matter how long the relationship has lasted <laughs> it can end and that's okay don't beat yourself up because it ended okay that's okay
my next point is I'm gonna actually read that out because it looks like a lot <laughs> so my next point is don't listen to people so much when it comes to your plans people like to project their dreams and fears on others and it's a so true I'll explain why they will tell you what they think you should do because that's what they would have done if they were in that position <laughs> so be careful which ones you apply to your life and it makes so much sense don't always you see people are saying don't always tell your plans to people before you actually execute it and that is because it's very easy for someone to project their fears on you i always say this don't project your motherfucking fears on me i can do it you probably cannot be able to do it but i will be able to do it <laughs> the fact that um the fact that you're so scared of this fire doesn't mean that the fire is going to burn me it probably will burn you but it might not burn you you know what i mean so it's very easy for people to project their fears on you that's why people always say that don't tell people your plans before you actually do it um, but it's also so true because sometimes someone will say just one thing that will make you put an entire plan away which is actually the plan that could have saved your life or which is actually the plan that could have brought you millions of dollars you know what I mean and it happens every time you know sometimes we have a very trusted friend and we tell them everything we tell them every plan and sometimes they say certain things that would just shut away that plan or just shut away that dream that you have um, sometimes they don't say it in a way that they're trying to actually kill the dream that you have don't get me wrong sometimes sometimes you know people just say stuff say stuff or sometimes people just tell you how they feel or what they think um, what's what's on their mind just as just as you would do when someone asks you something you know but you should watch which ones you apply to your life okay you should watch um you should watch which ones will let you shut away some plants and which one will which um you know you should just watch which ones you're like taking in and like what you're putting out there so um don't always tell people stuff like that things that you feel like um right now i what i'm doing is things that i feel like i really want to do and i'm like like 100% convinced that this is something that I want to do, I can do, I can execute. I will hardly tell anyone. Sometimes I don't even tell my husband, even though my husband will barely shut me away anyway, but I barely will tell him because I just want to do it and be sure that I can do it. And I also just want to do it so that I know for a fact that I cannot do it because I tried to do it, but not because you told me that I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? So, um just watch like which people you tell your valuable things to just watch which people you tell like your trusted things to and um because they they really contribute a lot to how your life is going to move on or like what kind of energy you're going to carry on you know what i mean i'm sure you get what i'm trying to say but just watch who you tell your stuff to because people easily like project their fears on you okay my next point is life is a never ending journey so never get comfortable and that's so true never get comfortable i'm always saying this no matter how rich i get in life i will never get comfortable because life keeps going you know life keeps going on so the more comfortable you get you, like they always say there's n like, like there's nothing extra in like your comfortable zone or you know that thing that they say get out of your comfortable zone get out of your comfort zone and go out there and live the best life like do the best deals you know that's what i'm always saying um i'm at a place where right now i'm just getting out of my comfort zone and doing the best that i can putting in my best work yet you know so life is a never-ending journey really don't get comfortable always always like thrive to be a better version of yourself always thrive to be better than what you were yesterday like people are always saying the only person that i'm trying to be better than is the person in the mirror and that's so true you never really have to compete with anybody else but yourself always like fight to be better than who you were yesterday so um with that being said i'm always fighting to edit better than i've always edited you know every time that i sit by my laptop to edit and i have time i try to do like a better job than i did my with my previous edit with my film and I try to like you know do a better job then so always try to do like the best yet always try to do the best always try to put a, your best foot out you know my and then my next point is 
Um, it's totally okay to be selfish sometimes. <laughs> as long as I can't believe I wrote this, but also I cannot not believe that I wrote this because selfishness is something that's right up my alley. <laughs> it is literally right up here. I'm gonna be selfish and I don't care. <laughs> so um, as long as no one is dying in the end, please be selfish sometimes. Put you first sometimes is what I'm trying to say. Um, people find the word selfish, you know, a little something, but I'm just saying that put you first sometimes, do things for you sometimes, you know. Um, you get what I'm trying to say, the things that you will do for yourself, nobody will go out of their way to do them for you, like teaching yourself, like learning and unlearning stuff, you know, um, like personal growth, mental growth, all of those things are not things that someone will come to you and come and help you solve. I mean, obviously, except if you decide to go for, like, therapy and whatnot, but that's even besides the point. You have to, like, work on yourself. And in order to be able to work on yourself in this current modern world that we're living in, you need to be selfish. You need to create some boundaries for yourself, okay? That's the only way you're going to be able to be selfish enough to do things for you. So sometimes... It's okay to be a little selfish. It's okay to go out of your way to do things for you, no matter what other someone thinks, okay? No matter what people think, sometimes you just have to do something for you. The next lesson, or my next point, is lessons, actually. So the next lesson that I have written down is, it only gets better, and as short as that sounds, it only gets better. Anything that you do, anything that you decide to do with dedication, with love, you know with honesty and whatnot it will only get better anything that you love so much that you want to see grow as long as you put in the work as long as you put in the energy it will only get better your life yourself you know like everything <laughs> literally everything that you love so much that you want to see grow it will only get better if you really want it to get better if you put in the work if you put in the energy it will only get better and also generally life you see like i said in life if you put in the work it only gets better it really only gets better but it's just one lesson that i've learned growing up that it only gets better like the more you go the more you grow the more it gets better everything you know everything relationship food money everything <laughs> it gets better when you go it just tastes sex everything tastes good when you go it's just way better when you go don't let them lie to you it's better when you go and then my next point i don't know how many points i've even been through by now but my next lesson is respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you my goodness oh ah. I want to say that point again because people need to hear it twice. People need to hear it two times. People really need to hear this point twice because, hear me, again, respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, okay? Whatever point you are in your life, if something no longer serves you, you should walk away. Something may be serving you or something was serving you like four years ago and it probably doesn't serve you any longer because you've grown, okay, or because you're living like a whole different life now. Some things don't make sense with you now. Some friendships don't sit well with you. Your relationship is not sitting well with, with you right now because you've grown or because you've matured and you just see that this thing no longer serves me. Please just walk away. It might be hard whatever it is just try gather the courage and walk away <laughs> okay it's just helping you with your sanity you know all of <laughs> the mentals i always say your mentals is also your mentals walk away if it doesn't serve you no more walk away if it's disrespectful walk away if it's stressful you know just walk away it doesn't serve you any longer just walk away you get what i'm trying to say i don't have to break it down in like different tenses but you get what i'm trying to say anything that no longer serves you please walk my last but not the least point is trust your guts or trust your instincts okay always always trust your instincts my instincts is one thing that i don't joke with 
um, I always trust my instincts. I always listen to my instincts. I always listen to what my instincts is saying. If I have a bad feeling about something, I barely ignore it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I almost always listen to what my instincts is saying. Almost always I listen to what my instincts is saying. So trust your instincts about people, about situations, about whatever. Just listen to your instincts. The more you do it, the more it's on point that's what i've realized with trusting your instincts sometimes sometimes it's, it's not exactly what it is sometimes you think even before your instincts tells you what it is so sometimes it's not what, always what it is but the more you do it the more you're conscious about like what your instincts is trying to communicate to you you will like it will, it will be legit it will be on point so just keep doing it just trust your instincts some things will some things will be so deep like you cannot ignore it so don't ignore stuff like that sometimes it's just the universe also showing you signs and symbols to let you know exactly what is happening or what's about to happen you know so trust your instincts your gut feelings never lie okay they never lie about people about situations whatever they never lie just know that it never lies <laughs> and then my last point here is the world doesn't stop just because you want to. And I think this is the days when I feel very down and very mad. And I feel like nothing is going on well for me. Literally, everything is in shambles. Why is my world like this? Blah, blah, blah. And I feel like nobody's, nobody's like thinking about me. Nobody's calling me. Nobody's checking on me. This used to be my very old self. <laughs> nobody's calling me. Nobody's doing it. And I'll just be wallowing in self-pity. And I had to tell myself that the world doesn't stop just because I have stopped <laughs> or like just because, you know, like things are not going on well for me just because I'm crying. Everybody else should cry. Sometimes like I'm sad and then I look on social media. I'm like, how are you all living your lives? <laughs> I know, like it's so crazy. I'm looking at social media like, how is everybody else just living their lives? Oh. <laughs> but it's something that I've had to learn. People's lives are still going to go on. People who are even like very close to you are still going to get to live their lives, okay? No matter what's happening to you, no matter what's going on with your life, people's lives are still going to go on. So sometimes what I tell myself is whenever I'm sad and like whenever I feel down, I tell myself the world is not going to stop because you're sad, baby girl, so pack your things, hurry up, I'm going to get something done, okay? Because the world didn't stop because you stopped for a day. The world didn't stop because you took a day off to cry, you know? Pack your shit up, girl, and get your stuff together. Like, get your life together. Cry a little. That's what I always say. I'm going to cry, but I'm going to cry for a little bit and then get out of that mood, play some music, come and create some content, and I'll be good. So, <clears throat> so life doesn't end. I mean, like, the world doesn't stop, and also the world doesn't revolve around you. You know, I had to learn that the world doesn't revolve around me. So the world doesn't stop just because you decided to stop for a day or for like a few hours to wallow in self-pity. So keep going, never give up, okay? Cry a little, but when you do that, wake up, <laughs> get your shit together and figure it out because the world is not gonna stop for you. No, it's still gonna go. So I really don't even know how many points I went through, but I have talked. Um, yeah, these are basically things that I've learned. Personally, these are things that um, I can relate to. All these things that I said to you or all these things that I like literally just told you guys are things that I have said to myself. <laughs> I have had to say to myself so many times. That's why I have them written down in my notepad. And they have been written. They have been here for a long time. <laughs> my phone is off. Wow. But they've been here for a long time, so I decided that finally I had to share with you before the year passes away because I'm 26 now and I'm going to be 27 next year. So 27, I'll share something else with you, you know. But I went ahead and shared all these with you because I really thought that someone out there might need it too. So comment down below if there's anything that, you know, you could vibe with, if there's anything that resonated well with you. Please comment down below, let me know. If also you have any lessons that you want to share, please comment down below. Okay, I'll be I'll be um, I'll be available to read. I'll be ready to read. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who would want to learn other life lessons, not just from me, but from all of you guys. So comment down below. Let me know 
if you liked the video, please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. I love it when you guys do that. And it also really helps my videos, helps YouTube to know that you vibe with my content. So, okay, do that for me. And also please subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. If you are not a member of the family, please subscribe. I'd love for you to become, I'd love for you to become a member. Subscribe. Okay. And yes, guys, I'm going to go away. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>